Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. We are learning about the CSS layout techniques. We have learned the different types of techniques like display inline inline block, floats concept, and also we have seen in the previous session about the multi column layout also. So the different types of layouts we have learned it. Now it's time for us <coughs> to learn another type of uh, positioning or layout technique that is nothing but a position property. In CSS, the position property plays a very important role in the CSS, in the web page layout. So they normally that one is indicated with a position property. Okay, position property. So the position property has some couple of values, the property values, that is nothing but first one is a static. And the another one is relative and absolute. And you can have another one is fixed. And the last one is sticky. You also have the inherit property, initial, these all things are also we'll be having. So we'll try to learn afterwards. So these are the five things which are very important. Static, relative, absolute, fixed and stat, uh, sticky. The e default value or the initial value for this position is the static value. So that means every element in the CSS or the, in the HTML element, every element in the web page, those are by default position static. So that means they the text or the content or the element will act as in the web page as a normal flow only so we cannot we, we cannot alter the place for that one so relative means relative to its position we'll try to do it so first we'll try to learn about the relative position relative in this session so now we understood about the prop different types of property values we'll try to learn one by one so first one is the static so for example any statement so for example let's open this one i am opening this start coding code pen editor and here i will close this js bin so this is the html and the css we are having this is the output and here i am having a div hello world right so this is this is a div statement so here i can have something like class is equal to parent now if i try to apply dot parent so there is no need for us to apply position static so why because if you don't apply also by default this one for this one the position is static only okay so that but that is that is by default for example if you want to apply a background color of red and in this one we are having some other statements sorry some other statements we are having like this also we'll be having and we can also have like this. so we are having some couple of statements like this so now here all these are position static if you don't mention also it is position static only now what is the meaning of this position static is so that is a normal flow so where the page where the text appears it will appear there only in the normal flow of the page only it will appear the text will appear if you want to move this text you cannot move it using the top for example i want to move using the top zero pixel and left zero pixel so it will not move so for example i want to move it left by 20 40 pixel let's assume so it will not move it will stay wherever it is only so you can change it using the margin and all those things so that is comes under the box model thing but here if i want to move this element to the left part means it will not move so this is the default one so you cannot move or anything you cannot do it anything so now the another one is the oh sorry the another one another property position property which you want to know about is the relative so that is one of the another one which you want to know it for example let's say that we are having the same thing class is equal to parent we are having the parent and i will be having a view in this one we will be having some elements i will have some view here hello world so this is the view and here i can have some due class is equal to child or anything i can have this child and here i can have another due so another paragraph content like this so this is somewhat we are having now i will try to remove this one all parent for this parent i will give width and height width and height for this one it will be something like 75 vw okay viewport width and here height i will take it as something around 75 vh i will give background color background color of 
blue or light blue we'll give light blue we are able to see this one this is a parent now we are having child right let's try to apply some css to the child so here i am applying some dot child i am taking some dot child i will be applying here background color background color of red and width i am taking it as something around 30 pixel and height i will be taking around 30 pixel so here you will be able to see one box with a background color of red now i want to move this box from where the position to the 40 pixel to the right side or left side okay so what can i do here so whenever you want to move this one you need to make it as a position relative by default it is a static but now i want to move it that box the red color box from one position to some other position i want to move it so now when you keep when you make this one as a position relative so when you apply it as a top zero pixel nothing happens here okay so why nothing happens is relative to this normal position that is top zero pixels so from where it is it is the top zero pixel from where it is i want to move something around 20 pixel down so top from top to 20 pixel it should be there so now see if you try to see here that one is automatically moved now for example let's say that i am having i want to move something like left to 30 pixel okay so now it has moved to left 30 pixel so like this so when you have a relative position you can move the box or otherwise you can move the content or anything element to wherever you want to the def top left bottom right these all properties by using these all properties you can move wherever you want it and the space whatever the space whatever the element that has created the space is there right that space will be remain like that only that space will not be occupied by any other element so that is the use uh, that uh, the, that is a concept of the relative so relative will not take uh, will, will move from its normal from its existing position to wherever it want by using the top left bottom and all those things but but with the static property we cannot move anything so that is the meaning of the position relative and also another thing what i want to tell you is the position relative for example let's say that i am having a here this one right position relative top left i have removed this one all and i have removed this position and all those things so i have applied this one as something around 100 pixel okay so this one will be like this now for this another paragraph element for this one for this element i want to move it to the little bit top okay i want to move a little bit top so okay let's make it as a paragraph element so that hey what is happening here yeah i will make it as a paragraph element here also i will make it as a paragraph element now this is a paragraph element now for this paragraph element what i will try to do i i want this one okay i want this one to be moved little bit at the top so here i can make it as a position relative okay so top i can make i can make it as an or otherwise bottom from bottom onwards i want to move it as a 30 pixel top so automatically this has moved to the top okay so now here what has happened here the two things has happened so for example if i move it to something you know 35 pixel so now the text has moved to the red red color box now what i want is this red color box is there right i want this red color box to come front okay i want to i want to i want to move this one to the front and i want to move the text to the back side so whatever the element whatever that another paragraph content is coming so i want to move the text to the back side so normally what the people will try to do they will try to move something like z index of minus one okay so now if you try to move z index of minus one it has been gone so completely i am on, i am not able to see the text so if i try to remove this bottom also now now also i am not able to see the text if i remove this z index to zero or something like that if i keep now i am able to see the text so that means if i am trying to keep z index minus one completely the text is going away so what it is happening here is this text is moving to the back side of this development okay to the back side of this development it is trying to move so it should not happen it like this so then what i need to do here so here what we need to do is so let's try to make it as this parent is there right so this parent i will try to make it as z index of one okay i am trying to make it as z index of one and this child so whenever we are trying to make sorry let's try to so whenever i am trying to make so what we are trying to make so here we are trying to make z 
zindex of 1 so whenever we apply zindex of 1 to an element means so must and should we need to apply it as a position relative so any of this thing position relative or position absolute or anything we need to apply then only uh, what i can say so this will apply so what i can say this zindex will apply then only it will apply so position relative we'll try to do it so now now if you try to see here automatically z index 1 and when i try to keep it as z index minus 1 or otherwise now you can keep it as z index 0 not nothing will happen okay now z index 0 now you can keep this one also as a z index 1 or something like this or otherwise we can give it as z index minus 1 now see if you try to see here this paragraph has moved to the back side of this content so like this we can make it so now you need to understand one thing what i want to tell you is whenever you want to apply a position relative to a particular element okay you whenever you want to make it position particular element you need to make it as a position relative then only it will work for example let's say that i removed this z index one to this parent element so i don't want to apply to a complete parent element this is moving back to this one right so i will try to make it as zero only okay so zero only so this is at the front but what i will try to do for the child element so this is a child element which is overriding right so i can make it as a position what i will try to do here i will try to apply z index of one okay so that it will come little bit forward but the zdnx one will not apply why because zdnx will apply only if you have a position other than static so i am trying to apply a position position of relative okay so if you apply a position of relative see now the box the red box has came forward so now the black has been gone back so if you try to see rgba of 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 try to apply see, you will be having a opacity the black color and you'll be able to see at the back side the content is there so like this actually the zdnx works so whenever you want to apply zdnx to a particular element means make sure that you keep a position anything a relative absolute or anything you need to make it then only that element will come relative to the uh, it will come outside of this one the otherwise without applying the position relative when you try to apply zdnx it will not apply so that is one thing you need to understand in the position relative so this is all about the position relative in the next session we will try to learn about the position absolute also and the combination of position absolute and the relative how it will behave so a combination of the absolute and the relative the uh, the behavior of this absolute element will be different so we'll try to see in the next session hope you understood about this position position relative statement uh, sorry property if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you